Hi, everyone. I want to put out a quick video here to address some issues that Josh Jordan had brought up. First of all, I want to tell Josh one thing. I know a lot of people have opinions in the chase on various topics. I noticed that you recently came out with a video regarding photoshopping, and you correctly described the term photoshopping, but that's pretty much where it ends. Now, let me preface this with the following. I have over 40 years experience as a principal level, which is higher than senior, principal level software engineering with digital imaging and digital video. I've worked at many places, including Adobe, where I worked on Photoshop and Image Ready. I worked at a company called Jask, which produces PaintShop Pro. I worked for Corel. I've worked on 3D ray tracers. These are all commercial packages that I've worked on since the late 80s. So I know what the hell I'm talking about, unlike you. Clearly, you need to do a lot of research into Photoshopping because either you have issues and you need to get a better pair of glasses, or you're, you're just delusional at this point. You're very condescending in your videos, and you, you think that everybody out there is an idiot, and you're going to be this big man who's going to come out and show us um, all your, your vast knowledge on how there's a huge fraud here, and the chest was found in 2013. Whatever. I don't want to get into your, your issues with fraud. Because I'm not going to sit here and deny the fact that there could have been fraud, but it hasn't been proven yet. And the one point I want to make clear is you definitely have not proven anything. And I'm only going to give you one example. If you really want to get my, my expert opinion on all of the images, you're going to have to pay me far more money than you can afford. And I'm not going to waste my time, but I'm going to point out the obvious flaws here. First of all, you claim that there's a missing chair leg in this photo. You must be blind, dude, because let me zoom in. There's a chair leg going this way. There's a chair leg going back towards the wall. There's a chair leg going down to the left here. And there's a chair leg right here going down to the right. For some reason, you don't see this. Okay, this chair leg going down to the right. And you claim that it's Photoshop. Well, it's wrong, dude. You can't make silly decisions like that, you're completely uneducated on the topic. So you're wrong. There's three legs there. So that throws your one thing out when you're saying, oh, there's tons of Photoshopping in all of these uh, images. And one person that pointed out and kind of made a fool out of himself was a poster named O. He paid money to have some company, which probably doesn't know anything. Clearly, they don't know as much as I know. Okay. And they pretty much Told them, yeah, there's some editing, and then they blew him off. So he completely wasted his money. Yeah, there's editing. There's editings in all photos. But either way, the leg is clearly there. So enough about this uh, chair without legs. Uh, like I said before, the person O did discover that there is some Photoshopping. And most of them are just edits. But some of them are clearly there that don't belong. And one of the best examples I can show of that, that O had found out, is this image right here. If you look here underneath that coin, you see this? Well, that's actually a piece of the pocket watch that's in that image that Boris Fenn shown with the pocket watch and all of the other stuff that was inside of the chest. So clearly these coins were cut out of that picture and poorly edited because they forgot to remove the pocket watch here. So that's a clear example where a lot of what was right but I can go through with other images and show you a lot of mistakes that O had made. And then you also have to deal with perspective, what angle was the camera at. There's a lot of things that can throw you off. So uh, you guys crack me up, you know, that you take an image and you zoom all the way in as if you could read serial numbers. Um, and you, you can't. There's not enough physical resolution. Images don't work that way. You can't simply invent pixels that don't exist. And, and that's exactly what's happening here when you do that. Now, again, I'm not shooting down your theory. Maybe it was found by this Kendall and Amber. Lord knows who the hell those people are. Frankly, I think you're, you're just crazy um, and you're delusional. My understanding is that you claim that you stumbled on the treasure chest and then these other people took it from you. I don't want to debate that because I don't know anything about that. It could be right. But please, please, please don't go insulting other people about 
Photoshop and digital imaging, and you're going to push your theory when you can't back it up because you have zero experience in the industry and you've completely made a fool out of yourself. I just proved it with the chair. I can go on and probably prove it a hundred more times, but frankly, you're not worth the effort to do that. So please stop insulting other people with your silly theories. Now, one other thing that I want to point out, again, this, this is an example of what I mean by zooming in. This is your image, okay? And you claim that this is the image that Forrest Fenn had in his shot, okay? So you zoomed in on this, and you see these pieces of jade in here. And then this is an image that Jack had provided, I guess, in the Median article, and you're showing the same pieces of jade, and you're claiming that these are two different things. I don't see how you're proving that here. Um, these could be stacked. Clearly, there's there's looks like there's more than one piece going on here. These are flat. These are stacked on each other, and here they're separated apart. And clearly, this one is closed. So this one's open, meaning that somebody moved them around and manipulated them. So you have no proof whatsoever here that these two things are not the same jade in there. The other thing I want you to take notice is that everything looks big, but notice that you're zoomed in here, okay? The height of one half of this box is approximately equal to, it looks like a little bit less than the width of this bracelet. So that means when it's closed up, maybe this thing's going to be an inch tall, maybe, maybe an inch and a half. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Here's this other image that you showed. Okay. Apparently you're holding these two pieces of jade that you had found in Colorado. I don't deny that you found jade in Colorado, but I fail to see how this means that you have physical proof that this came from Forrest Fenn. Do you actually believe that these things were inside of that container at one point and somehow they're photoshopped in there? I don't even believe that these would fit in that container, but clearly these are more um, spherical shape. They don't even match the jade that Forrest Fenn shown. Again, I think that you're making a complete idiot out of yourself, and I'll let you go ahead and be free to do all of that stuff, but please... Stop being condescending and stop insulting people and trying to fool them into believe that you're some digital imaging expert when you're not. I am a digital imaging expert, and I just made a fool out of you based on the chair alone. I don't, I'm not going to put forth the effort to waste my time to go ahead and look at more images and point you wrong probably a hundred times easily over. I, I just don't care about that. Is there Photoshopping in some of these images? Yes. But to the extent that you're showing, no. Does any of your, your so-called Photoshop evidence have any proof whatsoever? No. Zero. Period. So please stop making a fool out of yourself. And at least stop picking on other people and trying to push off that you're some kind of an expert when you're not. Peace.